today i'm going to show you my eight hours of productive timetable for i and this timetable is blocked by pomodoro an effective technique for focused studying so if you don't have daily timetable and you struggle to sit for study then this video is going to be super super helpful let's start the video if you are new here my name is sunny i am a student currently preparing for i and on this channel we explore strategies and tools that help students to become more productive in their studies welcome back to the ongoing series of IMAT. So this video will be in two sections. In first section, I will share how my morning routine starts and how I sit for studies without being a procrastination guy. And in second section, obviously I will be sharing my productive eight hours timetable for IMAT. So let's dive into the video. My morning starts at six o'clock with coffee. After that, I take some sunlight for my normal circadian rhythm and then after breakfast i immediately set for studies i know this is very hard a lot of us procrastinate instead we across social media so that is the point where i stack the text in my favor by sticking a planner at my phone's home screen so when i look at planner it i receives a surge of necessary motivation for study because this planner is designed in this way it covers it covers all IMAT syllabus. Every day syllabus is locked on it. So it reminds me that today I have to prepare these chapters. Uh, otherwise my preparation will be weak because there is no more any further time in that planner uh, for those chapters. Hashtag surprise. I have shared a planner in separate video. So the link will be in video description or at the end screen of this video. You might love to check out that. Now let's move on to my eight hours of productive time table it is not a messy thing i have tried to make it as simple as i could so let's get to the screen and i show you how my productive time table looks like so here is my protective time table for imed so there are two sections in in one section there is time and in second section there is activity with sections i am into columns so uh, my productive morning starts at 7 o'clock so i do first pomodoro from 7 to 7 25 as in this timetable i cover 16 pomodoro totals uh, in which four for biology four for chemistry and three for physics and two for mathematics two for critical thinking and one for general knowledge so mm, our first pomodoro starts at 7 and ends at 7 25 uh, after that i take break for five minutes and then uh, second pomodoro starts for physics from 8 30 to 8 55 so after physics uh, after second pomodoro i take break of 10 minutes instead of five minutes because i want to reward my brain for more studies uh, for effective studies uh, so that it if it does not get reward it will not be studying any further instead it will find uh, excuses so after 10 minute break i do, do two more uh, pomodoros for after uh, two more pomodoros for one chemistry and one critical thinking and then i take break for 10 minutes so uh, now for after four and uh, now we have done four pomodoros uh, after 10 minute break and then two more uh, pomodoro cycles begins um, but there are two critical thinking consecutively like before 10 minute break there is one critical thinking uh, pomodoro cycle and after um, 10 minute break there is second pomodoro critical thinking cycle uh, because i have tried to uh, make these two pomodoro cycles for critical thinking in morning as i feel fresh and so you know mind is fresh and i really i'm really bad at critical thinking so i think this is the best time to study critical thinking uh, so after uh, that uh, two after two more critical thinking we take uh, i'll take 10 minutes break and then uh, after last uh, after 10 minutes i do uh, one more uh, pomodoro of our general knowledge and i take 30 minute break so it's 12 10 and i have taken 30 minute break uh, after 30 minute break i will do three pomodoro cycle consecutively for uh, each of sciences subjects uh, like biology chemistry and physics but there will be no break at all mm, like after biology i will not take even 
break for five minutes because i know after these three cycles uh, i will uh, be taking 45 minute break uh, like long break that will be lunch break so um, i will do these three uh, cycle it will end at 125 from 125 to 210 uh, i will be doing lunch break so after lunch break i will uh, do two pomodoro consecutive uh, cycles for biology um, to 10 to 35 uh, with 5 minute break and these will be two um, cycles for biology and after uh, now i will be doing 15 minute break like i have extended the break from 10 minutes to 15 minute because i know that this mind is this mind will find excuses for study so i have to reward this otherwise it will uh, be studying no more uh, so that's why i reward it with break 15 minute break and then after uh, after 15 minute break i will be doing two more pomodoro cycles uh, from 3 20 to 4 15 consecutive pomodoro cycles for chemistry and then i will take again 15 minute break and after 15 minute break i will be doing two more pomodoro cycles but here uh, i could have done both pomodoro cycles for physics but i'm doing for one physics and one for mathematics because i know that there these two subjects have low weightage and i am at so um, overall we have done 16 uh, pomodoro cycles uh, Four for biology, four for chemistry, three for physics, and uh, two for critical thinking, and two for mathematics, and one for general knowledge. So this was my productive eight hours timetable. If you need any help regarding a uh, timetable, you can surely contact me. Feel free to DM me. Uh, on Instagram at the red eyes and comment. Anyway, if you have found this timetable helpful, then let me know in comments. I would love to hear uh, from you any changes if you recommend. Um, the only purpose of this timetable is to study, uh, not only studies but effective studies. As lot of student uh, study more hours than other, but they score less marks in I M A T. That's why I will be creating next video on uh, effective learning. Uh, I'm not a sort of person who knows everything about effective learning, but I have consumed a lot of content about uh, durable learning from highly qualified professors from different universities. So I think if you uh, f- if you follow my strategies or techniques you know, for IMED preparation, I could guarantee you uh, for best results. And one more thing, sooner or later I will be. sharing my second brain for imed that i have created in notion their system contains everything about imed effective imed preparation um, it contains uh, effective recall calendar space repetition system flash cards syllabus and much more so subscribe this channel and thank you for watching see you in next video bye bye